Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Shrine Guide. So today, we are going to be doing the Vu Lotus Shrine. So what this requires you to do is two different things. First off, you have to complete this side quest for Warbler's Nest. So if you travel to... Uh, da, 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 uh... Uh... Akfakwat. The, sh the shrine that you basically teleport to get into Rita Village. Uh, and talk to this bird right next... <laughs> this bird, this lady bird lady, whatever, right next to the shrine, literally, um, she'll give you a quest that her kid's missing, she can't find Keel. So, basically, you see those uh, things, those little stones in the distance, that's Warbler's Nest, that's where she's at. So, super simple, from here, you're already at the landing, you have to beat uh, the Divine Beast first, by the way, so you need Revali's Gale to be able to do this. Which means, well, I mean, you don't need Revali's Gale, but like, it's just, it makes it so much easier, because you can just coast all the way there. So, super simple. Um, go talk to her. And then, this little check will tell you that you need to find her first friends. Or, her four friends first, before she'll come home. So, one's at the general store, one is on a ledge of the, uh, of the rock above the village, one's at a pond at the entrance of the village, and one is at the cooking pot. So, relatively not hard to do. So, here's the first step. Cool, so now we have to find her friends. So at that point, what you do is you teleport, you know, freaking all the way back. <laughs> There's a lot of teleporting in this one, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Here. And uh, I did a little bit of a detour. I was looking around. <coughs> She's not all the way at the top of uh, Meta like I thought she was. She's literally right there. <clears throat> so, super simple. Basically, just climb your way up to her. Really. Like. She is one of the. She is one of the hardest ones, just because, like, you, it doesn't really specify when you, like. Most guides will tell you online, like, hey, yeah, she's above the village. Okay, well, it doesn't say anything where. So you come, like, above the village, right? So. Talk to her. Here's Knots. It's not a melee. I lied. So. She wants, uh, Simon Mirane. So your sister's been looking for, uh, the thing. So she gives you Tabitha Wheat when you find her. Cool. Uh, the next one is at the general store, right? So. Which is just, you know, a little... Dive down. Boop. There she is. Here's Cree. She gets goat butter. So, gives us goat butter. Cool. Now she's at the pond. The, the next one's at the pond. Which, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh Yeah, so she should be like right here. And obviously the last one's at the cooking pot, which is Genly. She's not, I forgot. Oh, maybe she's at this one. Maybe I just overshot her. Excuse you. I don't want you right now. Go away. Oh, I did. I totally passed by her. She's right here. So, 
Fishing for hardy salmon, and we got it. Cool beans. So, now we go to the cooking pot. So, the three items that you should have gotten, right? So, you need doink, doink, and then we need a hearty salmon, wherever the hell that thing is. It's a hearty bass. Aha, hearty salmon, boink. So, we should be able to cook that. Hearty salmon mirnere. Here we go, boink. Give it to her. So, now they're gonna go to rehearsal. So, fantastic. Warbler's nest. So we'll go up here. And then you can activate Revali's Gale again. So we'll go here, we listen to their singing, and then we'll need to cut down a Korok leaf, which you should be able to do just by smacking on that tree. Or one of the other trees, right, like, in the back here. So, ta-da! So, in case you haven't figured it out yet. Goes from left to right, one through five, so four... Five, three, one, two. That's the that's the code. And as you can see, they're numbered. So you'll blow the wind through each one. But that's not a big deal. So now, what should we do? God, Cory, leave. Uh, we need to just ditch a weapon for right now, so we'll just drop this, grab a cork leaf. Put that to wood. Alright, so now what we do is we equip the cork leaf. Four, five, three, one, two. So. Stay on this, hold on. Yeah, you're gonna stay on the platform, so. Four. Five. Yeah, three. Damn, dang it, I think I messed it up, hold on. Four. Five. Three, one, two. Ta da!
ba blam And we scare the crap out of the birds. Now they fly off to their mom, so the quest is complete. So, Shrine Quest done. And congratulations, Food Luda. Smart. So, kind of a long quest, like, just in general. <laughs> but, you know, it's cute. <sighs> Let me get this one. Winding route. Oh no, I left my sword. Shit. No! <laughs> I lost the blade! Yeah, you get the, uh... The really, really long staircase. Stand on, huh? So, doink. Welcome to the fun zone. Okay. So, go here. Alright, doink. You can get your chest. Which is a flame blade. Which is so much better. Than a Korok seed. <laughs> or a Korok leaf, which we don't need anymore. So. So much better. So, we'll blow here. Go here. Da da. Okay. So, seriously? Wow. Alright, just die. Ah! Uh, Glad it doesn't want to open when I want it to open. Really? All right, there we go. All right, blows you across, right? Cool. Got that established, so we're all here. Almost didn't do it again. Blows you across. Cool. Go here. Oops, Daisy. And this is the fun part. You get to go through here. Dodge that. To land here. Dodge that. Ooh, I almost biffed that one. Alright, cool. And get the small key. Which, as you just saw, brings us to where we gotta go. So, now. Speed this along here, and bub land. That's it. Kind of a long detour path, but that's it, guys. Hope this helped you guys, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye!